Belgian summertime will be a very familiar sight to the Peugeot UK team. Gone is the sunshine of Friday in Ypres to be replaced by rain. Fans trade in their flags and banners for umbrellas, and the forecast is for the rain to continue until early afternoon. But you never can tell in these parts. Phil, day two, uh-oh, it's raining. Yeah, like we promised, you know, it's come true, isn't it? And um, yeah, we've just got to deal with it, you know, get some good boots on the car and um, get through them stages. It'll be muddy, slippy, gravelly, so expect it all this morning. What's the focus this morning then? Because Freddie's a little way off in front. Don't want to do anything silly out there. No, no, we've just got, you know, we've got to keep keep within um, touching, puncture distance, so, you know, and, and keep watching behind Brian Bouffier, um, Petter Schoen. So um, we've got to keep an eye all round. What kind of boots are going on the car this morning? <laughs> Some grippy ones, I hope. <laughs> and by boots, Phil means tyres. With three stages to kick off the morning, what will the boys choose? The rain could stop, and with the breeze, the tarmac would dry quickly, or the rain could keep falling. It's a bit of a headache for the team, but luckily they have a great weather crew, and they use all the information at hand to make a decision. A cut slick is the option they will go with. Guy and Phil are in second position overall going into the final day. Freddie Loikes leads with Peter Schoon in third. The first stage of the day goes well for Guy and Phil. We catch up with them at the second stage, but it seems Guy is not that confident in what we're telling him. Guy, excellent run through on the first stage. You were fast as there. How did that one go? The first one? I don't think we were. No, think... that's what the timing said. But... Ah, right, OK, I don't know. I don't. We thought we were slow then, Freddie, but this one was um, very slippery. We knew that. Um, we went on a cut slick and hopefully it is drying. It's just this one was still very slippery. Um, so hopefully the next stage we'll uh, find it a bit better with these tyres. Sweating in there, kid. Hard work. It's humid. He was fastest through the first stage and second quickest on the next two. 46 seconds now adrift of Freddie Loix's lead and he extends the gap over third place driver Brian Bouffier. Stage 10 was next, the longest of the event at almost 29 kilometres. Guy and Phil are running second on the road today, but unfortunately they were not the second car to complete the stage. When they did finally complete, we were on hand to find out why they were so late. Guy, you're well out of order here. What on earth has happened in there? We had uh, two punches, uh, front left and then front right. Can't believe it. Did, what, did you hit anything? What, what was it? I felt something with the front left, the first one, but um, nothing, nothing so much. But yeah, definitely I felt something with the second one. I don't know, obviously we were keen not to lose too much time. I don't know if we hit anything in particular, you know, it doesn't take much. The punctures dropped them to 10th overall, six minutes off the lead. A bitter pill to swallow after what had been a great run so far. Two punctures meant they had no spare tyres left. Another puncture would spell retirement. As they head from Belgium into France for the next two stages, this is no doubt on their minds. We welcome them back onto Belgian soil after safely completing stages 11 and 12. You don't have to keep trying, you know, it's um, the first puncture we got so easily, you know, it wasn't like we did a big mistake. Uh, just in a cut and just felt something and uh, Next thing we knew, we had a flat tyre, the second one. <laughs> we didn't know what we hit, we just ended up with a flat tyre. So that's how easy it can happen. So we hope we've had our bad luck, even though it's really spoiled our rally. But, um, you know, we must keep uh, keep going. As dusk fell, the final stage of the day beckoned. Guy and Phil had now worked their way up to sixth overall. They pushed hard to gain back positions lost, and they continued that on the final stage as they passed Carl Kruder to seal fifth overall. Guys, fifth position overall. It was going so well here in Ypres. It must be a little bit of a bitter sweet pill to swallow. It is, but um, we had to. Thanks. We had to f fight for anything really. After we had the two punches, you know, it was um, very demoralising for us and the team. You know, to be second and comfortable, and then have two punches in one stage. You know, even if we would have had one, we could have still come away with the podium. But to have two in one stage was just incredible. And. Um, yeah, but, you know, we had to fight on and show a bit of spirit and dig deep, and that's what we did, and I think on the last stage we managed to snatch fifth place. I think the positive from this weekend has been your pace. Yeah. You have been absolutely on form here. 
Yeah, it hasn't. It was consistent as well. You know, we could we could manage it, control it, and um, I mean the team have done a fantastic job. The car hasn't let us down at all. Um, you know, for a number of events now, really from the start. So we all have to keep working the same same way, and um, you know, I'm sure it's going to come. Mark, what a weekend it's been here in Ypres. We always expect a challenging, tough event, but my goodness, it's really been hard this year. Yeah, and Phil, they make a fantastic rally so far. Uh, they were second overall. Impossible to catch Freddy in this typical uh, roads and with this uh, typical Belgium weather. Finally, uh, he made a great job and uh, he, he was in front of Bouffier. He was second overall. It, was exactly what we were expecting, but okay, we have two puncture, we have to accept it, we have to follow what we want to do and we, we want to be back and we will be back for the next rally, I'm sure. We look forward to a gravel event now in the Azores. How much are you looking forward to getting onto that surface? I look forward to every event, you know, it's, um, we're very lucky to be doing what we're doing and uh, we do our best and um, okay, sometimes it doesn't work out, but yeah, we'll be looking forward to the Azores very much. Surely a win is just around the corner, Phil. It's got to be. Yeah, I hope so, Bex. You know, um, it can't be far. And, uh, you know, just seeing uh, we set a fastest time again. So, uh, yeah, come on, bring it on. Freddie Loikes takes the win here in Ypres with Brian Bouffier in a Peugeot 207 in second and Hans Weiss Jr. takes third.